My name is Logan Thackeray. I'm human, a citizen of the nation of Kryta. I defend Divinity's Reach. Though in battle, we fight for our homes, our gods, and our queen. The thing I like about Logan is that he's really more of a... He's a hero, but he's the kind of hero that I like to play because he's got this dark past, this, this pain that is actually kind of propelling him uh, to be a bigger hero than he ever thought that he could be. Nothing can break our spirit. Your faith is your weakness, human. Name Ridlock Brimstone. Rank Tribune. Duty Vanguard for the Black Citadel. He is a member of the Char, and the Char are a warring nation, and he is sort of thrust into this situation where he is in alliance with a guy from the other side. Char bow to no adversary. With the clamor of anvils and the thunder of guns, we rip each day from life's teeth. He is this guy who, for uh, his whole history and ancestry, has been known to fight on one side. And uh, all of a sudden, he has to open up and see what it's like from the other side. And there's a certain degree of respect and um, awareness that comes with that. Our strength will shake the foundations of the world. Very nice. <laughs> My character is Zoja. She's an Asura. She's a tiny, adorable um, girl. And um, she's um, cute, but she has a very snarky attitude. And she's, uh, she thinks she's better than everybody. So that's kind of fun to play. <laughs> Ignorant clods, I am Zoja, member in good standing of the College of Synergetics. I'm from Ratasum. We Asura will tell you, victory is a matter of ingenuity, not muscle. When somebody tries to correct her, she gets very snappy, because I, I don't think she will ever acknowledge that anybody knows anything more than she does. She's, uh, I think, I, I always picture her as kind of a bookworm, and, uh, and very intellectual and talented, always very precocious. Brain, not brawn, will change the world. Magic isn't a tool, little one. It is a river that unites us in its current. I am one of the Silvari Firstborn. Call me Cave. In the Grove, we hear the land calling out for champions. We answer. My character in Guild Wars is named Cave, and she's a Firstborn Silvari, which is kind of like an elf character. Uh, she's very mysterious. Uh, we're not quite sure whether she's good or whether she's evil, um, but she seems to pop up throughout the game with information, and no one's quite sure how she got it. I like the fact that Cave is a kind of a, a tough warrior chick. I always love playing characters that are good in battle. Um, and she's blonde, so I guess I sort of identify with her uh, being blonde. Game voice work differs, I think mainly because of the quantity of lines and the depth of the character. Uh, when we're working in something like animation or, or uh, even commercials, we get snippets of time for those characters and we're working with other actors in the game world. Typically, we're going to be working in a room by ourselves and just blasting through lines and really digging deep into the character's psyche and fleshing it out, but very quickly. The intensity is usually very high, um, and when you get to the battle sections, all of those grunts and fight sounds and death sounds, uh, we're doing all of those. So it's it can be very intense work. It's a different creature all by itself. I mean, I've done different kinds of acting. I've done TV, I've done film, uh, small films and big films. The thing that I like about voice acting, though, is that it's, it's non-physical. It has nothing to do with, with how you look, how you how old you are, what color your hair is, if you look, you know, similar to the, the other character that you're playing opposite of. Uh, technically, it's, it can be a lot more uh, strenuous on the body, um, but in a way, it's, it's, uh, it does have a cinematic sort of appeal to it as well, because we do get to see the full spectrum of that character. This is my first video game, so I was like thrilled to be able to uh, be called in for it. It's not like something I do um, on a regular basis, so it's quite a thrill. And uh, it's, you know, voiceover is different. It's only your voice, so you have you can't be inhibited about it. You're all, you're communicating everything through um, what you're 
what your, your voice sounds like because nobody has picture to go with it. It takes a lot of energy, sometimes it can really rip your throat up, but uh, it's very rewarding and it's always really fun to see how it all turns out in the end. In a time of uncertain allies and dangerous enemies, Tyria needs heroes. It is time to forge new legends. It is time to fight. What is your story? What is your story? Yeah. Yeah. Great, we got really good. Ones. Thanks for good. Good, good.